No school insurance if teachers have guns. I mean, that's the type of persecution of gun owners and people that just want to be free. Here's what I am. You can call me a populist, constitutionalist, whatever you want, a libertarian, constitutionalist. I want to be a free human. I don't want to be domesticated. That's what slavery is. And this government doesn't just want to have a nanny state so it's in control. Do you understand they ordered, I keep talking about this since Sunday when I saw it in the New York Times, it reminded me of just the hundreds of things I could talk about, that nerve gas, there were over 200 bases in Iraq, most of it bought from France and England and the U.S., most of it the U.S., but, but, the, but, but of the total, there was some Russian stuff there. It all got videotaped by the Marines and got released to 60 minutes of all places. This all came out a few years after. And they went and videotaped Camasilla and all these bases. Camasilla, I forget. It was like the biggest chemical dump in the world. It was like dozens and I forget. It was just giant football field underground bunkers. And they blew it up. And there was a mushroom cloud and all the chemical weapons detectors went off. And rather than admit, we just blew up chemical weapons so that Saddam wouldn't have them anymore. And we wanted to cover up that it was ours. They just said, never mind. Take your gear off. It's a false alarm. Knowing it was going to hurt people really bad. And again, I just go back to that. The globalists act like they've got a plan for all this, collapsing society, taking control of things. But I've studied them. They're the ones lying to themselves. They didn't let troops use DU until 1990. They didn't let them blow up chemical dumps in the open until then. There's been a shift in the establishment of just, you know what the world, F the world, basically. Kill everybody and let God sort it out. And I don't mean kill the enemy and let God sort it out. I mean just just craziness. That's what I'm telling you. I used to talk to a lot of big high, high up insiders. They go, look, it's an out of control animal, just like they say in the movie Nixon. And they're crazy. No, no, they're crazy, Alex. You see the design in it and there is a design. They're trying to design something. The truth is these people are nuts and they are nuts. Why would you blow up chemical plants, chemical dumps, and have it rain down on the troops? Some of them died that day. And then now it's in the news. Oh, yeah, they got exposed to something that ate the brain stems. It's CERN and VX. And they still deny these people their disability. I mean, of course they say the troops are the enemy after they're out. We have a government that says in all the manuals, the number one terror threat is veterans. Lock the government up, folks. That's a traitor government right there. This is naked in our face, and I am sick of it. I am tired of it. I want to have a sane future. So they tell the media, says, I'm insane. I'm insane. They have Bloomberg and others come out and say, I don't build bombs, I build bombers. They have other articles coming out saying, I, I said this and that. They're, they're, they're coming after me, okay? And I'm not worried about what happens to me. I'm worried that I'm not doing enough on air to warn you and get all the info out. That's all I'm trying to say. That's all I want to do is beat these people. All I care about is my kids. All I care about is my wife. All I care about is your future as well and our future together in this world. Can't you understand? And they go, oh, that's what schmucks are like. Or there's no way he's really a good guy. Nobody's good. I mean, how did we get to this point of madness, of madness? By the way, if you want to support us, go to InfoWarsStore.com. Get the Pro Pure filters, 10% off, promo code water, the live straw, all of it. The new film, State of Mind. For a limited time, you can get the American Dream film free with it. It's a film on the history, the present, and the future of mind control. Very powerful. State of mind. InfoWarsStore.com or 888-253. 3139, second hour, one minute away. The important thing about the Pro One filter today is that the material we use for removing fluoride and other heavy metals now will remove the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. There's no other fluoride reduction filter out there that will remove that type of fluoride. And it's extremely important because Today, we're hearing more and more cities are using that form of fluoride. We've been having medication forced on us through the water system for quite a while. Most people don't realize it. Most people don't realize the negative effects of fluoride. There's a wide range 
of health effects that are attributed to fluoride. Bottom line, why should somebody get this new Pro One Pro Pure filter? The reason to buy the Pro One, it's an all-in-one filter. It's convenient, easy to use. It doesn't require the add-on fluoride filter. And in addition, this filter removes the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. We're into hour number two. We just had a very important interview newsmaking, no doubt, uh, with Congressman Ron Paul, former congressman. He said he would vote down the amnesty bill. And I'm not trying to drive a wedge between him and Senator Paul, but uh, you know, Senator Paul is supporting it right now. And you just can't do it when the illegals all get even more welfare than American citizens. I mean, it, it's, it's designed to bankrupt the country, which is what the mega banks want and drive down wages. And it won't help the third world. Believe me, I wish that the countries south of us were oases of freedom. Because if uh, people could be black, they could be white, they could be brown. If they were into freedom, that's where I want to be. <laughs> there was a country of green people, and they were into freedom and being honorable, I'd be living there. They could be green and have purple eyes or something. If they were, you know, I mean, I am sick of it. Uh, of everything being about what, what you look like, it's how you act and how you behave. And let me tell you, there's nothing but tyranny and hell south of us, ladies and gentlemen. And this country's collapsing, and the bankers want that. They want us to collapse just like Detroit. And let me tell you, we're on that road. <laughs> you like your wages going down? Well, just like Ross Perot said, NAFTA and GATT, he said, will create a giant sucking sound. They're paid $37 an hour in factories in Canada. When they equalize with us, we're on average paid about 20 It dropped down to 25 up there. In Mexico, they're paid less than a dollar an hour. You will see. Immediately, our wages go from $25 an hour to $15 and then down. And that will destroy the base of the economy and the upward mobility. Now, Larry, then we expand out and deal with China where they have slave labor. Larry, this is on Larry King Live, debating Al Gore. And Gore wouldn't shut up. He's like, let me speak. Let me explain economics here. You see, because when you pay higher wages, when you're an upward economy, it doesn't matter because then everybody's got more money and you spend more. If you've got a real free economy, you want high wages because that's actually what makes it get more and more complex like an ecosystem. This is economics, real economics. But if you're a robber baron eugenicist who want to hoard everything to yourself as a tool of control, then you want low wages. I mean, man, we're competing with Mexico, India, China, and 160 plus other third world countries. Do you think the CPS takes people's kids in Mexico when they chain them up in some areas in Mexico City while they go in and work all day? Or where they do that with millions of kids a day in China on record? No, no. The kids eating one time a day if they're lucky. They're growing up chained to a pole. Their parents are in there working. The robots are being built to replace them right now. There's a new trailer out for Elysium I'm going to play later in the hour. You don't have to sit here and think about the future. You know, 150 years from now when robots replace humans and robots are the police. How about 10 years in most of the big factories? And in 20 years, we'll be at Elysium level. Okay? You, you, people go see the trailer for that. People have seen sneak peeks. They're like, how did you know? How did you know what was in that movie? And I'm, or how do you, this movie is like what you talk about. Because all the fiction is going the way of how it really is, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, but they're not going to be on space stations like Moonraker. They're going to be in compact rural and urban command centers with, na with three levels of national security to get in with universities, corporations, and government. And you're going to have globally in their different actuaries maybe 10 million people behind the, the high-tech wire. And they're going to be living much longer. They're going to they, they, they're going to have all the treatments. They say this. This isn't me. And you're not going to get it. And I'm not going to get it. We're going to get euthanized under government health care. Don't you people understand this? Don't you understand? It's all been written by them. Got a bookshelf full of their writings over there. I've done reports. I've shown you where they say it. They're building a hellish world, a selfish world for themselves. This isn't a game. And I'm here and uh, you're out there to warn people. We're not going to let them take control of human destiny with this nightmare upload they've come up with we're going to hack into their system and we're going to sabotage their takeover plan and we're going to build a better world together 
Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show. Friends, it is Wednesday, the 19th day of June 2013. We just had Ron Paul, former congressman, on, and that interview was just newsmaking across the board. He said he believes the dollar will collapse and gold will, quote, go to infinity. That's a quote, last hour with us. Uh, and he said he disagrees with the current immigration bill. And that it's a big ripoff, giving the illegal aliens all the free welfare and anchor baby status, so he would not vote for it. And obviously, then, the question is, is Rand going to, who's been making noises like he will? I mean, Rand, your daddy. And I know you're your own man, but come on. I mean, your, your daddy's not just anybody. I think it's time to not vote for this thing. And I know Obama's already done it by fiat. He's a criminal. But they're talking about 46 million illegals in the next decade under this. I mean, whoa, whoa. And, and, and again, the government's there to make them the new voting bloc to take my guns. And if they can take your guns, they're going to take everything else. I mean, MSNBC is creepily on there saying that your kids belong to the state. And again, if I could go to Mexico or if I could go to Brazil or if I could go to Poland and show up and have my kids free and be given welfare, it might be a little different. But it's so unfair. No one else does this. No one. But maybe some Northern European countries like Sweden and Denmark. And they've used that to bring in foreigners to then be a voting bloc to leverage out the indigenous population. So it's a political move. I mean, we got to get our riders. I should have all three of the riders that are right through that wall right there. I've got like eight riders working for us now. There's three of them right through that wall. No, there's four of them. Four great riders. Maybe they should all go back and listen to that Ron Paul interview and go with different angles because so much what we do at Infowars.com, so much of what I do on the radio, it's my fault. We never even report on. Incredible stuff happens here on the air. And we don't even talk about it. I mean, I, I, some stuff's sensational and I don't go with it because it's not newsworthy. I mean, if it's important for liberty and sensational, then we go with it. Because liberty is sensational. And the globalists use sensational propaganda to dumb us down, and they get us in a normalcy bias, a comfort zone, a bubble of just accepting, and I'm here to shake you out of it, and I'm just report on how crazy stuff is. You know, uh, Washington Times and several other publications come out and go, Congress is looking at having hearings on cable boxes with microphones and cameras that are watching and listening to you. Is it good they're watching and listening to you? And people are like, Alex, we've heard you talk about this for over a decade. What's the big deal? It's finally in the news. You know, now is the time to talk about this, and now is the time to talk about people who have been accurate, who've told the truth. I, I mean, look, two years ago, and then again last year, I looked it up on Google News. There was over, in a, in a one-day period, now two years ago, a thousand articles because it was an AP article and a bunch of others, so they got put in newspapers everywhere. Over a thousand articles in one day. That's a major push in newspapers. Saying, I'm a liar. Kurt Nemo, the writer that did the story, is a liar. And that Matt Drudge at DrudgeReport.com was a liar. That there are no domestic drones and that we were liars. And they used a big article Kurt wrote that Drudge linked to that showed, you know, Wired Magazine drones over North Dakota used to arrest cattle rustlers. And, you know, police using drones here. And Texas weaponizing uh, police drones. And it was all these links. And they went and found farmers complaining about the EPA harassing them if they built barns and things with Cessnas with EPA people and also Department of Agriculture people in them. We were pointing out, hey, they're already using man stuff to harass farmers. They took that and spun it like we were lying and had over a thousand newspapers in one day run an AP article. And it was on TV and it was in a bunch of other stuff because Media Matters wrote the first thing. And, and, it, and people go, well, who cares about Media Matters? Nobody reads it. Oh, the media reads it. It's the White House on record. They're listening right now. 
White House, former transition chief, George Soros money, they're listening. And they said, come out and say Alex Jones is a liar. They said we were lying. And that Matt Drudge shouldn't carry our stories because they're so scared. Well, oh, oh it's, it discredits you. Don't. He says the NSA spying. Don't link to that. He says the streetlights have cameras and microphones in them. Don't, don't listen to him. We're linking to the company that got the Homeland Security contract. Oh, don't, don't, whatever you, don't get radicalized. There's no two billion bullets. There's no armored vehicles. Because I'm not radical, folks. I'm radically angry. Because I know, I do the research. I know I'm right. I know what's being built. And, and so they're mad because I'm able to shock people out of their malaise, out of their comfort zone. Because I'm shocked by it. And I'm just an American. I'm just a free human. I thought I was just run of the mill. But I've seen it when somebody's choking. A whole restaurant stands there like parrots saying, call 911 till I have to physically shove people out of the way to save the woman. And I'm not a hero. I guarantee you, my, my dad one time when he was a kid saw one of his friends save somebody choking. You know, and everybody was fighting to help the, the man. Uh, you know, I had CPR on swim team. I know how to do the Heimlich maneuver. Nowadays, people get run over all the time in the street. Nobody helps them. A woman gets raped in Toronto in front of hundreds looking out windows watching it in a telecommunications building and nobody helped them. This happens all the time now because it's 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 zombies. They're they're like disconnected, and, and and the media wants to sit there and tell them, "Don't listen to him. There's nothing to be upset about. Just stay calm. Just go quietly. Just get in the car with Ted Bundy. Get in the yellow Volkswagen. No, do not get in the car with the serial killing government." And and that's what I'm trying to get at here is that now the FBI director comes out, testifies to Congress, and says that, yes, we're using drones to spy on you. Well, of course they are. That's what's so insulting about what Media Matters did, because they did it two years ago and again last year. And now their lies are even worse. They say that I said Obama sent the tornado to Oklahoma. I never said any such thing. And you know that, you listen. The lady said, could it be a weather weapon? And I said, well, they can manipulate weather. There are geoengineering going on that may be causing it even not on purpose, but it's doing it. But I said, it's probably a real tornado. Tornadoes are way down, 60 year low. Here's USA Today. It's probably a real tornado, but they can create bad weather. I showed Fox, AP, Reuters. They take that, lie about me. Now they're saying, and it really clicked that I should be more concerned because I am fearless. And I should be more concerned when they have Bloomberg come out in a fake investigative report they spent a month on trying to dig up dirt. They couldn't dig any up. So they just say, I don't build bombs. I build bombers. You know, they quote the Southern Poverty Law Center, also White House run on record. Because you have these groups so they can deny it and, and, and they not be connected, but they're on record funding it and running it. I mean, I should be creeped out. So I'm going to ask you for your support. And your prayers. I was on ManCal today, and I'm friends with ManCal, and, and he said on air, and then during the break, he said, no, I'm not going to get into it. But he's been told not to have me on his radio show anymore. And he freaked out on air and said, I'm going to keep having Alex on. Because he really is a manic maniac. I mean, he's a really smart, good guy, but he's even more of a maniac than I am. Uh, and he just doesn't care. And he's got a big hit show coming out. It's going to be a hit called uh, God, Guns, and Automobiles with his brother that owns a big car dealership. Uh, in Missouri, and I know about some of the inside stuff. It's, it's mainly just a show about having fun. Uh, and the White House, once it's shut down, and has all these White House fronts, Media Matters and others, saying it's a conspiracy show and, 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 and a racist show, all this other baloney, basically. And the atheists want it shut down because the word God in it. History Channel's not dumb. They want 13 million viewers a, a, a show instead of a million viewers, like their Bible series got. So that's the type of stuff that's going on where they do not want popular culture out there. They, they got three gun shows that were top shows, number one, two, and three, on Discovery canceled. By the way, I've been in meetings with Discovery, History, A&E, all of them, five, six years ago. And I told them, I said, you know what will be the number one shows? Uh, and I said, I don't have time to do it. And you can't pay me enough money to do it because I've, I've got an operation I've got to run. I've got to make a lot of money to be able to run my own media operation. And they're like, well, come do one season, and if it makes a lot of money, you know, you can make, you know, millions after that. I go, I need those millions now to, to pay for everything. I don't m m keep millions. I have to spend millions. 
And, and, and they all agreed with me. They said, no, we know guns. We know libertarian stuff. We know Americana. John Wayne is what gets us 10 times, was a quote, the ratings. But we're not allowed to. And I watched him fire the head of True TV over this when it was gone from court to True TV. She, she'd been the head of the BBC division, came over here, and she understood that. I'm, I'm probably saying too much. That's why I don't go to L.A. anymore. I don't go to their meetings. I don't, I'm not part of it. I've got my own thing. I'm doing it here, and they're not censoring anything until they kill me. And they are angry, ladies and gentlemen, because they know that liberty is popular, and they are upset, and they can't stand it. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at infowars.com forward slash show.